back to the past is alive and thank you all for tuning in and tonight i am back with a brand new product from the folks at jampacks.net a name that i feel everyone probably is aware of around here and a popular name in the repack game well, now jay from jampacks the creator of jampacks has unleashed before us the 1975 tops baseball set break and as quickly as these were listed online, they were sold out. I received this box in the mail on Monday evening, and come today, Thursday, I checked again, and they were already gone. But this box is number 10 out of 44, limited edition. Um, I imagine that Jay will probably do more set breaks in the future. I'm not positive. I do know that his other products are in stock right now. So if you go to jampacks.net, you can grab up the old school box, the new school, and also the best of both worlds. While they are in the supply, I know that those sell out very quickly too, so grab them up while you can. But in this particular product, we got 15 total cards per box, and we're guaranteed one or more, or more, Hall of Famer inside of here. So without further ado, let us crack this holographic tape off of here and see what awaits us inside of the 75 Top Set Break. I have no idea what to expect. But I am pretty excited. It appears that all the cards are in card savers. And they look to be in pretty amazing, pristine condition, too. Milt May starting things off for us here. All in card savers. And these look pretty sharp. Vic Carell just is absolutely astounded by how sharp these cards really look. Ron Say... National League All-Star is definitely a nice one there. And, of course, these are facsimile autographs. These are not real autos. I've heard people say that before. Ron Say is definitely a nice one. We've got Jim Bibby looking for any possible offensive billboards or advertisements in the background. Looks like we're not going to get them. Good old Jim Bibby. Marshall Hurls in 106 games. Check out those chops. The 74 highlights card. They're nice. These cards are centered up pretty good, too. Most of the 75s I see are cut horribly mike anderson to the phillies or daryl evans we have wilbur wood ron blomberg richie zisk for the buckos hometown team bill fahey and we have our rookie card here several names that you may be familiar with now if you possibly go across keith hernandez he is on a card like this same with jim rice and Fred Lynn, and also Gary Carter. We have some notable names on there. And a Rangers team card, and it looks like we have ourselves Billy Martin down in the bottom left corner. Quite a character, always was. Tom Seaver, check that out. Ron Say, and now Tom Seaver. Very nice. In pretty awesome condition, too. And Jim Lonberg to end this box. Very, very cool. Very cool. So Ron Say and also Tom Seaver. Definitely a good time. Like I said before, I'm not sure if Jay, the creator of Jam Packs, is going to plan on doing any more of these set breaks. I would say probably keep an eye out for them. Check jampacks.net somewhat regularly and keep an eye on that also on the Facebook page as well at jampacks.net and see what other kind of creations he's going to come up with. And I feel like he probably will because these... Sold out very quickly. Awesome idea. Jay, shout out to you, man, for uh, allowing me to open this on this channel. So let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this video, what your favorite card was, or even if you bought one yourself. I'd love to see your hits. Post a link in the comments to videos if you bought this product and opened it. And, of course, check out jampacks.net for any other future products. Thank you guys all for watching. I will catch you, hopefully, tomorrow night for the next video. Have a great night, guys.